For those who couldn't get into the visitation last night, today was a chance to say goodbye, finally, to Joe Nuxall. George Harvey of Fairfield was one of many with small children awaiting the funeral procession. What I'm going to have my grandchildren do is read his book. And there's so many lessons in there on, on just how you treat people and how you like yourself to be treated. And there was nobody better at it than Joe. Doug Shuhart of Milford wasn't able to attend last night's visitation, so today was the chance for him to say goodbye. Shuhart says he learned a lot from Nuxi. I learned to be humble. He was, uh, he could relate to any walk of life and in any situation, and he could walk with, you know, anybody and talk to him like you're just as his equal. Pam Bauer of Fairfield did go to the visitation last night, and she turned out for the funeral procession today. She says it's like seeing part of her childhood disappear. Because part of my childhood is is going to pass by me today. So I have a lot of memories with my own father, visiting a lot of Reds games, and it's just just good memories, positive memories. And so, again, part of my childhood is just is going by today. It's, it's over today. From Fairfield, Bill Reinhart, News Radio 700 WLW.